uh, we are preparing this uh, jet system for composting preparation uh, with me my colleague uh, maji babu uh, my laboratory colleague i am professor sk das i am the hod school of physics gm university so we planned that this this pipe will be cut into uh, this is a 10 feet uh, long pipe and we will cut into three equal pieces uh, then we will go for making some drills or holes in this pipe so this is the process then with this uh, such a uh, drilled pipe we can uh, go for uh, making the jet system for composting uh, that is also called a zero energy polytunnel composting system within 15 days with such system uh, one can do the composting So we got uh, the first three pieces. Say, say, say. See, we have uh, connected a special uh, dealer and uh, we have given a marking here with a rubber band uh, to fix the diameter. Uh, the diameter has been uh, uh, has been fixed at 20 millimeters. Now, this distance is. Eight uh, eight, uh, eight, inch. Oh, eight, uh, inch. eight inch. So we have done the first till. Then we are going for the second one. Uh, 
third one then we'll go to fourth one so we have drawn four uh, holes uh, and the distance between each hole is 8 inch and the total length of this uh, pipe was 40 inch okay so from this end also it is 8 inch so here also 8 inch and everywhere it is 8 inch so we have done it for first then we are turning it then we will go for the in other exactly 90 degree uh, we are turning it then we are going for the same procedure So we have done the four hole in this side also. Then we will again turn it by 90 degree. Then we will make the four hole again. Okay, so we have done you see in each side we have done the holes we have so third side uh, we have done this is first side
Okay, so we have done the hole in each and every side. Uh, now I am uh, adding the required ingredient. For this, uh, I have taken uh, some water and I am adding uh, about, uh, about 500 gram of DAP. And and also adding five hundred gram of urea. And uh, I am adding, uh, I am pouring about 15 liters of water in this bucket. The uh, capacity of this bucket is 15 liters. So I am pouring this bucket. Okay, I am mixing this. I'm mixing this. Now you can see I have already uh, <coughs> uh, 
have a pile of have a pile of uh, straw i have given sufficient water to it in this manner today so that it will be it will be getting just wet wet then then i'll uh, sprinkle or uh, i put this uh, uh, dap and urea solution to it <coughs> this is my dap and urea solution i'll i'll go on applying on it like this I have applied almost everywhere in the top side. Almost 7.5 liter I have already sprinkled. Then I'll go for mixing the uh, straw. For this mixing, I am mixing in this manner and trying to turn upside down everything. I'm trying to bring the the straw which was on the bottom side to the upside. Like this. In the bottom side uh, things are the straw are in wet conditions. So I have gone for such a mixing process.
I have taken 50 kg of straw and try to go for mixing as good as possible. manual process so now I'll go for the jet method for this for this I'll go for keeping keeping about uh, four feet width of pile Okay, now I will place this, uh, so this is now the pile that I, initial pile that I created, whose height is around 1 feet, now I am keeping this, this, uh, this fast uh, pipe. First pipe I'm keeping, then I am covering it. Okay, I'll just leave some, some this here and I'll just arrange it like this okay then I'll put the second second one at a distance of at a distance of about one feet from the first one Then I'll repeat the same process. Then I'll put the third one also. This is the third one I'm putting again I have gone for the distance about one feet then I am going to cover the things like this Okay, now you can see I covered it, I will go for making a pile of 1 feet height. You can see I am putting the straw.
Now, I'll go for leveling this draw. From the first layer, from the first layer it is now around one feet height. I have to make one feet height. It is still not one feet. I have to put still more straw on it. So, from the side I am ringing and putting. And putting like this. I'm putting like this. Okay, now almost one feet from the first layer I have made. You can see this person. I have to give something here so that to look uniform. Okay. Okay. Now you can see I have made the second layer whose height is about one feet from the first layer. Now I'll put some remaining portion of the solution that I prepared. Then I'll go on pressing the second layer of pipes. For the second layer of pipe, I'll press it again and try to make it a little bit uniform. In this side there is not uniform so I have kept given something here. So this layer is now almost square in size. Okay now I'll put exactly in the middle positions of these two, these are the two, exactly in the middle position I will keep the, this pipe and exactly in the middle position of the other two, also I will put the second pipe, then I will put the third layer. Like this. 
this this holes will allow the air circulation inside this compost so that it will get compost well so this is the principle of jet for composting composting is generally done by some <laughs> pathogens uh, in the aerobic process that means in the presence of oxygen aerobic process is the process of becoming uh, that happens in the presence of oxygen so for this composting we need oxygen or the bacteria that is responsible for composting need the uh, oxygen so we have to go for such arrangement of poly tunnel so you can see through these pipes air can pass and through these holes it can get circulated and now preparing the third layer and putting everything like this And I'm collecting from the sides and we put it like this. I put like this. This is the third layer I'm preparing. Okay, so Thalia is almost done also. So the third layer is now is almost ready. layer is almost ready so I press it little bit like this like this like this Now I put the for the, this layer, top layer, which also I will cover with.
in all layer in on all, all two layers i have made the or use the 3 inch diameter pipe for this top one using 4 inch diameter pipe from side i am bringing the compost and i put it over the final layer you see i have also given the last uh, layer and uh, in this last layer i put the <coughs> four four inch diameter uh, pipe which was drilled like this like previous one so <coughs> now i'll cover this thing with this polythene Oh, before that let me show from whole angle how it is looking like you can see this, this is the first layer you can see this is the first layer in which there are three pipes then we have the second layer in which we have two pipes in this layer we have two pipes then we have the last layer or top layer which has one pipe and uh, in each layer I have given about uh, about uh, uh, 10 to 12 centimeters uh, of pedestal okay you can see from all side so this is the compost uh, preparation in jet method in my agrophysics laboratory of gm university okay Now I'm covering up. Now I covered it up. You can see I have covered it. Okay, now I covered it like this way and placing some water like this. Okay, it's in the similar manner, I'll put some, oh, I'll put some, something, some wetted like this. Okay, now you can see, this, this has been covered, this side is uh, uncovered, but all, oh. so, okay, uh, uh, good morning. So today is the eighth day of uh, putting this uh, uh, jeft uh, compost uh, in which I had uh, told you earlier we had uh, given three layers uh, uh, of straw in the previous part you can get the detail about it. Now after eight days we are uncovering it we uncovered this and we measured the temperature inside this pile and it was coming around 46 degree. Uh, and the room temperature is around uh, now 26 degrees so it's uh, 20 degree more inside this so now we'll uh, uh, do that uh, upside down or fast turning of this pile so for this we'll uh, uh, we'll break it okay okay then we'll keep the inside then again then tar okay so after breaking these two layer we'll put this uh, this layer of uh, straw at the bottom layer in the next uh, side so for this yes you just go on keep giving your hand
Okay. Yeah, it's a uh, hot feeling is there. Let me go other side. Because we are preparing uh, the compost for button mushroom. So it has to be kept for at least uh, 15 days. So today is the 8 days of making the pile. Okay, you just uh, spread it <coughs> with a dist uh, uh, width of around for uh, 40 inch. You just spread, yes, spread it. To the width of 40 okay and uh, you make the height around half a feet yeah try to make it rectangle ah, good rectangle good if from this side also okay Press it and uh, make it planar. Press, press it, press it. Press as much as possible. Hmm. Okay. Press more and that side is not rectangular. I can see that is more wider so, <coughs> mm, that's okay looks better sorry be careful space is limited Okay, it looks better. Now uh, press the uh, this side. Okay, fine. Now you put three uh, three such pipes in equal distance. Bring. Uh, no, no, no. Those which was there earlier, bring them. Uh, put them first. Good. Second in the middle. Yeah. Then the third one. No, not that one. Oh. These are the piles. Oh, these are the pipes that I had given the in the second layer. Now we are putting in the bottom layer, and one of them is we are extracting and we are putting putting so uh, you can do one thing we'll we'll keep equal distance from the edges okay and uh, also among themselves so bring that okay bring little bit to the other side little, little most like this so it, from edges and from each it should be similar okay from edges as well as the distance between them are almost same now Go for putting the second layer. Hmm. You see, uh, th uh, this this is the uh, here. It's too hot now. Uh, here, some whitish color is coming. This is the uh, indication that our composting is uh, going on fine because you're hot. As well as some whitish color fungus is coming. This fungus generally comes at higher temperature, uh, which helps in um, composting. So this is in the proper direction. Here also you can see some white color there, which is the indication of good composting. So jet method is a good method actually, proven good method. So that we are adopting here. But here, unlike 
in a very large scale we are doing everything in the laboratory scale so that means in a very small scale so for doing experiment this is a very good uh, practice uh, this video will be very useful those who start want to start the experiment in their level uh, in the laboratory in our laboratory we are trying for uh, controlling the various physical parameters like humidity temperature and light for mushroom farming so for that we need to have the instrument for those things as well as we need to have the uh, mushroom bed uh, so for mushroom bed we need to com do the compost so uh, everything has to be done so it's very very hot hmm. so now you see it is automatically taking the shape hmm. Do we need the gloves? Mm. Try to make a pile of half a feet in this layer. Half a feet, huh? This is a little bit tiring work <laughs> because my students are doing this. In the agrophysics laboratory of GM University. Agrophysics and technology laboratory of GM University. Humble for Odisha. Go for a little bit more because at the top layer you will have not that much high. So put a little bit more. Hmm. Okay, good, good. This much is good enough, I believe. Now you uh, put two more pipes. Uh, you can uh, remove a little bit and put two more pipes in the second layer. Uh, here and here. Exactly in the middle position of this first layer. Put, press it hard hmm. good then then put the next layer on it you you can come and uh, let the girls do yeah to music let's go uh, you put and you just arrange it let her put and you just arrange so that it will be done quickly you can see uh, the uh, compost that has been prepared uh, by this jet method so almost prepared the compost using the desert method you can see myself and my students that we 
uh, we tried here we could successfully done this <coughs> in the big scale people are using machines but a small scale for experimental purpose uh, or for for the low scale mushroom bottom mushroom production this method is one of the best method you can see so very good quality compost we got and uh, now our in our next step is to test it for growing the bottom mushroom uh, for that we will be first uh, uh, grow the mycelium from the pda uh, medium for uh, uh, this potato agar uh, dextrose uh, potato dextrose agar medium pda medium with that we will first go for the my uh, tissue culture of the bottom mushroom then we will go for uh, mother seed preparation then we will go for second generation seed preparation then those second generation seed will be used with this this, this compost uh, with this compost for testing purpose of the utility of this thing so last time last year i tried to get such compost and uh, even i placed order from delhi but uh, unfortunately they didn't respond so this time we tried ourselves and uh, beautifully got the uh, compost by the jet method 